With the PUBG Continental Series, let's take an in-depth look into the invited pro teams, their recent roster changes and what we can expect from these EU Pro PUBG teams in the PCS. Hey peeps, I'm Skeletorius and welcome back to the channel. But if you're looking to level up your gameplay, then hit that subscribe button along with the bell so we can advance to the next level together. If you're interested in seeing how the PCS is being played in each region, then check out my video on the PCS overview. I will leave timestamps down in the description so you can look at your favourite teams along with my final prediction for the EU PCS. However, to fully understand that prediction, I would fully recommend to watch this video in full. It can be easy to assume that the top PEL teams such as FaZe Clan, Team Liquid, Na'Vi and TSM will take the top spots in the EU PCS. But in recent months, many of these PEL teams have seen whole rosters dropped by their organisations and players and teams alike announcing new transfers. The teams entering the PCS look very different to those that played in last year's PGC and PEL. So what does that mean for the upcoming PCS? Well, to demonstrate what has happened to the PEL teams, I will make two predictions for the outcome of the PCS. The first one, which I'll show you in just a moment, a prediction based on the team's performance in the PEL Phase 3, PGC and the recent PGS Berlin EU qualifiers. If we only take these performances into account, the invited teams could position like this. We could see Phase Clan coming first as the reigning PEL champions and the highest placed EU team in the PGC, where they came second. The rest of the table is based on the team's performances in the PGS Berlin qualifiers. My second prediction then will take into account the changes these teams have made and their recent performances, including the DreamHack Spring Showdown. So for the reigning champions FaZe Clan, not a lot has changed. We still have FuzzFace, Uber and Aitzi, but they are now joined by Gustav, who left TSM back in December 2019. They seem to have gelled well, getting themselves a couple of first place spots in the Toby Tryhard tournament. However, in the 303 Royale PUBG Pro League, they found themselves in 8th position, below the likes of Northern Lights, TSM and Tornado Energy. But could this be some pre-PCS jitters, or just a small bump on the road to glory? Next, let's take a look at Team Liquid. Now I will admit, I have a slight bias here, as I have supported them since PEL Phase 1. Why don't you let me know your favourite teams down in the comments below. Team Liquid veterans Jeans and Ibi are still in the squad, but Gemti and Santi were replaced by K-Mind who left the MPL team Genesis in November last year, and Mexi from FaZe Clan February this year. Both these players proved themselves in the PGS Berlin qualifiers that they had what it takes to help Team Liquid reach the top spots. Since the PGS qualifiers, the performance in the Toby Tryhard and 303 Royale finals haven't been up to scratch but they have stepped up their game in the DreamHack tournament which will hopefully give them the momentum needed to win the PCS. Na'Vi still retain Senya and Bestelok, but welcome Tab, who previously played for the Jokers, and Kembat, who played for the now disbanded Katana team. This team stormed ahead in the PGS qualifier that should have given them the strong mentality going into the PCS, but again, they have not done so well in the Toby Tryhard tournament and didn't qualify for the 303 Royale or Dreamhack finals. Perhaps they are working on some new strategies that still need a bit of fine tuning. On to TSM, and this is an interesting one, because as I mentioned in my previous video on the PCS overview, TSM announced earlier this year that they were leaving competitive PUBG. Only 12 days after that announcement did they make another, even bigger one. They were returning to competitive PUBG, but with the WTSG roster under the TSM banner. So that's Fex, Fard, Muraku and Iru. Fex and Iru are no strangers to TSM having played for them in the past. WTSG may not have been around last year, but they came in third in the PGS qualifiers, above TSM who came seventh. During DreamHack, TSM suffered in day one, but showed their true determination in day two going from 11th position to winning DreamHack Spring Showdown overall. Now let's talk about Ents. This team did win PEL Phase 1 in April last year, but since then they have not done so well. This team needed to make some changes, and although Squeaky and Rustin Ma continue to play for them, they have replaced Mikaz and Trifeli with Diggory from the top Finnish team QuickMath and Tixu from Crow Crowd, another team who no longer have a PUBG squad. Raise Your Edge are another team that is regularly seen in the major EU tournament, but again struggles with getting good placement and required some drastic changes which they have done. The organisation signed the whole of Exalt Gaming, the team that came in 4th in the PGS qualifiers, over Razor Edge who came 8th. 
this new Raise Your Edge roster has shown some potential, placing fifth in DreamHack. I find it interesting that big organisations such as TSM and Raise Your Edge seem to be scooping up whole rosters from teams that finish higher than themselves in order to try and push their own standings up in a league. I'm sure the players don't worry too much about who they play for and instead focus on working as a team regardless. With the big six out of the way, let's move on to the final four. Omikon, the team formerly known as Zuteng Nam, are new to 2020 and have found themselves in the middle of the tournament tables more often than not. Though largely unchanged, they have pulled out the big guns in signing Genty, who previously played for TSM and Liquid. I believe he has been brought in as a new in-game leader and to breathe new life into the team. It will be interesting to see how this team performs in the PCS. Northern Lights have had a turbulent roster over the past year. Firstly, Deep was made a sub over Quizzy. They then both left the team. Next to leave was OK Bro, leaving only Perfectix and Spyro, but Deep would then later return and the team signed Battlelins. Northern Lights have had a good start to 2020, finding themselves in the top seeds of the recent tournament, including Dreamhack. Tornado Energy have been a pretty stable team with Melman, Example and Aliag, but were recently joined by Quizzy in April this year. The team have been holding mid-table for most of this year's tournament, but they must have been getting in the training because they managed to pick up third place in the Dreamhack Spring Showdown. And that leaves Adept. This is another new team for 2020 that are largely untested, but did prove themselves in the PGS Berlin Qualifier, but have not been able to do well in the Dreamhack recently. Okay, so now we have been through the roster changes in each team. I want to bring back that first prediction and swap out the teams that have changed their whole rosters and give them the position those teams would have had. So TSM with the WTSG roster moved to third and Raise Your Edge with the Exalt Gaming roster moved to fourth. Now, if we take into account each team's recent performances, I now think this is how the EU PCS top 10 could look. I can't decide between TSM and Liquid for first place. I want Liquid to win, and I believe they have every chance to do so, but they keep dropping the ball towards the end of the race time and time again. And after watching TSM's performance in Dreamhack, it would be no surprise to see them go for the top spot as well. Even though FaZe did not do well in Dreamhack, they always seem to pull it out of the bag for these major events, so I'll still put them in third, with fourth and fifth going to Tornado Energy and Raise Your Edge after doing well in Dreamhack. Na'Vi didn't even make the finals for Dreamhack, but they have shown before that they can perform well under pressure, so I would still expect them to make the top half of PCS. Does this top 10 tally up with how you view the teams? What are your PCS predictions? You can leave those down in the comments below. Bear in mind that this only includes the top 10 invited teams and that there are another 14 teams from the open qualifiers that will join them and could potentially throw a spanner in the works. I'll be talking about these teams in a later video but can already see Entropic, Tempus, Unity and Digital Athletics being teams to watch out for. To see that video consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notifications. The EU PCS starts on the 15th of May and you can find the broadcast link down in the description. And if you enjoy playing PUBG as much as watching then I have a video for you to help you become a better player.